The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. Mm-hmm. And alongside me, I have two very excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the gayest, funniest, deepest voice-having motherfucker, Mr. J.P. Yep, J.P. That's, I didn't think that was me. Yeah. <laughs> but I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah. you, you were smiling just in case. <laughs> I was starting to wave to the camera. And another very funny comedian with a severe gambling problem and a psychotic wife. Please welcome Mr. Yes. Steve Peters. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I knew that one wasn't me. <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, son of a bitch, guys! It's uh, we're back from the uh, from the Christmases, yeah. And stuff uh, had a lot yeah. of a lot of stuff going on, which we will get to in a little bit. We have a great episode for you guys this week. Uh, we got a lot of headlines to get through. Obviously, a lot of football happened. Mm-hmm. G- JP and myself are pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. I mean, all things considered, I right. guess I'm happy. Okay, okay that's fair. Uh, we have our normal segments. Uh, we have Never Have I Ever. That's where I draw the line questions in for Gucci's, and as always, a draft in a shitty situation. But if this is the very first time you've listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines show, mm-hmm. this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and do very offensive jokes. So if you have thin skin, we're just fucking kidding. You're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, if you're offended by a joke, you're doing it wrong. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, we do have, a, have an excellent episode. That also goes for sex. <laughs> yeah. If, yeah. You know, if it offends you, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, man. <laughs> uh, but, shit. So, we had Christmas uh, over this last week. Hope all of you guys had a great uh, Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever fucking holiday you mm-hmm. celebrate. Um, but, yeah, uh, as long as Santa Claus was involved, right? Sure, man. I mean, yeah. there's got to be a Kwanzaa tree Santa. Yeah, well, I, I mean, don't tell me that the Jews don't have like a that? Jewish Santa I don't, Claus. I don't know. Uh, well, you know, I it's, mean, he just instead of a hat, he wears one of those. <laughs> it's a yarmulke, red and yeah. white. I'll, I think that'd be. It's dope. got a little. It's got a little cotton ball on yeah. the back of it there, so it <laughs> yeah. looks like Jew, a Santa hat. <laughs> Jew claws. <laughs> <Jew so. laughs> or would it be Santa Jew? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, you know, one of the other. He sells you presents on Christmas <laughs> yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the first fifty customers get a free falafel. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's that's uh, you know, and with Christ. the with the goings on in Gaza and Israel right now, they both just need Jesus. <laughs> they do. Yeah. They do. That's a, oh, that is, that is a religious joke. If you over. get it, you get it. <laughs> that, that is what they're, that's what they're fighting. They're fighting over. Yeah. Well, you know, claims I thought it was. Right. He's yeah. ours. <laughs> anyway. I thought it was Your new, Jesus is bullshit. That was a new sports stadium that they were trying to play. <laughs> yeah. That's whatever. <laughs> That's fine. They love their football. Yeah, they yeah. do. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, we like to kick this week off. Is this where the show's <laughs> this, going? Because this is where it begins to unravel. All right. Good deal. Jesus Christ! But no, uh, we like to tell you guys about what happened to us over uh, the last week or so. Uh, I know JP hasn't been on. He wasn't on last week's episode. Yeah, so I did't get to be on the Christmas episode. You didn't. And I'm. Uh, I'm a. Spe- I'm not. I'm not a main character. I'm like the gay side show. You no, know what I mean, I'm the one you call in whenever you need true. a fan. It's JP, man, I'm fine being that. Dude. If it helps at all, I don't think I was really on the uh, Christmas <laughs> no, episode. I on, drank man. so much Jameson that I don't remember being here. <laughs> I watched that episode uh-huh. and I don't remember you being. Here. I don't either. <laughs> so. It was pretty bad. No, you yeah. weren't here. It was a Rudolph that it was, was here. Yeah. Oh shit! That's I didn't even remember that until right now. Yeah, that's. Uh, oh boy. 
Dude, yeah. that's fun. That's okay. You didn't embarrass yourself. No. Okay, too that's good. Much. I can kind of handle the alcohol. Yeah. But that's anyways, <laughs> and that's uh, all that matters. J- <laughs> JP, you've had two weeks and Christmas, so that's like a three week, three day weekend mm-hmm. to be able to go and do something of sus- of substance that you can bring up and talk about on the show. How'd it go? Yeah. Yeah. We're all waiting yeah, here, with get, bells get on. Get up to the microphone and tell them what you did. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Ta-da. Uh, I do yeah. nothing. My life is a shit. <laughs> no, uh, no, man. I didn't really do much. You know, the Christmas thing. I went over to my mom's on Christmas. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus yeah. and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. And, um, man, I didn't do a whole lot. Bold. Does, Half did, assly. did the bowling alley have like a Christmas tournament? No, God, no. Come I the wish they on. would. I need some money. <laughs> I mean, you guys wait, wear those goofy ass shoes, anyways. I think that like they need it's to true. have like a costume, mm-hmm. like Saint Christmas nope. themed nope. bowling nope. tournament. No, nope. but I, uh, I did meet a new friend. Oh, did you? I mean, I'm. I can't remember her name. Oh no, Mm-mm. that's not good if you don't remember her name. No, but. When Did I was, at, I was at, no, I was at work, mm-hmm. and there's this one little old lady named Sharon that comes in, mm-hmm. who I absolutely adore. She reminds me of my grandma. She's just a just the littlest old lady, but you can tell she would she don't take shit from nobody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. she's in yeah. fucking charge, and nice. I just really love this old lady, and she's just a sweetheart. She comes in and brings people all the time, and the lady that she brought in was clearly a lesbian oh like, nice i mean birkingstocks yeah, and everything oh yeah mm. yeah flannel shirt all yeah. that good stuff oh yeah and uh <clears throat> before she left she came up and she was like hey you know um i don't know if you get out much i know uh, i lost my wife a year ago and i'm wanting to get out more and maybe meet some more people she goes you ever want to go to the bar and have a drink or something you know, sure. I, I, you know, I would love to do that or whatever. And uh, so I'm taking her to New Year's Eve. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, like, yeah, we exchange numbers and everything. And she texts me the next day and she's like, hey, this is uh, I can't remember. Her name. That's, <laughs> I better remember that. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. But I was like, hey, you know, if you're not doing anything New Year's Eve, I've got a bunch of friends that get together. Some of the best people I've met in my entire life. I'm not there, and uh, Scotty won't be there. <laughs> yeah. so that's a plus. But uh, we, you know, we go big every year. Bunch of food, play poker, games, stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, I said, if you bring what you want to drink and some gambling money, and you want to come, you know, uh, we'd be happy to have you come join us. And she was, she's like, you know, I don't have anything going on. I think I'll come. So nice. I'd, it'll be very interesting. My friends are, uh, they're good people. God bless them. Uh, they really are. But you would never know it by hanging out with them. <laughs> so You're going to uh, flip her. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. maybe you're going you. to make her uh, a gay man. Yeah, She's <laughs> not awesome. that far from it. Yeah, yeah that's uh, awesome. I mean, she's right fucking there already. So <laughs> That's great. Uh, she's like that chicken 40-year-old version. Yes. That says that's, yes. Yeah, just a feminine version of man. Yeah. I can, I can yeah, do that. Yeah. 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 So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Uh, what? Why, why? I started playing this new video game called Sticks. It's an old game that I... Yeah, downloaded a long time ago. It's does you're the, you're a goblin and you're trying to like oh. rant. It's it's cool, but I mean, okay, not really much else going on in my life. You know, I mean, more importantly, why am I not invited to this fucking New Year's party? You want to come? I might, dude. For real, you guys I, absolutely welcome. I I, I I need to get out of the house and keep my mind going and stuff yeah, like dude, that. So yeah, I might. for real. If you, I'll uh, shoot you a text. Yeah, let me know for yeah. real because it's a blast, man. Good people, really, really good people. I don't know why they hang out with me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> real salt of the earth. <laughs> Secretly, JP's a good fucking guy. No, let's not fucking spread any rumors <laughs> on uh, recorded TV. Yeah, whatever. I love it. Uh, I guess I'll kick mine uh, my weekend off because uh, most everybody knows what ended up happening. So I ended up having to go to Western Kansas. Mm-hmm. Uh, and do the really shittiest thing in the world, which is go to a funeral over the holidays. Ah, it sucks. sucks so bad. I mean, everybody was already coming to get together anyways. Mm-hmm. But then you got to meet, you got to like see people that you don't really want to see. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's like I I don't I told JP before the show. I was like, if I go to a funeral, I'm the guy that goes, pays his respects, and then leaves. But I don't like talking to the people unless they specifically ask me to come up and talk to them afterwards. I'm the guy that just likes to be left alone. And then 
also about myself, I also genuinely just don't like very many people. Like, if you're a listener of the show, I love people that see me in public and come up and say hi. I love that. But yeah. Especially people, when you're with somebody that you can be like, yep, yeah, that happens, yeah, all, that the happens time. all the time. That's awesome. But no, but like the people that like, uh, I don't know, family members that are going to come up and tell you the exact same thing over and over and yeah. over again. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah, I just didn't have. But I do have a very funny story that occurred uh, with this whole situation. Um, this is a big deal. Uh, he's a very important person of my family, so everybody came. And my family is very large Sounds when it like comes to this. Oh, no. Um, and so before we left, um, we ended up having to take two car, two vehicles. My wife. Oh, what? a German orgy. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds He said dirt. everybody oh. came. Uh, well, oh. well, you know. Uh, but no, all of, all of the huge family that I have was all there. But I ended up wanting to leave early, and my wife was going to come the next day. So mm -hmm. we made arrangements for that to happen. Uh, and before I left, before I left, my wife said, hey, did you try your suit on? And I said, I wore it a couple months ago. Uh, I'm sure it'll be just fine. Fat guy in a little suit. Yeah, fat guy was real fat guy <laughs> oh, in that I little love coat. It. I oh, it. Are there pictures? No. Well, that's thank, terrible. Thank God. No, I woke up the morning of the fucking funeral. And because of, you know, he's he's a very important member of the family. I fucking panicked. Because I'm like, I'm the only motherfucker not going to be wearing a suit. Mm -hmm. And I, dude, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I tried that suit on. And in my in my head, mentally, I was like, I'm going to make this fucking work. There was no way I could make this work. If I moved at all, like my pants were just closing in on my balls it was so bad just i couldn't i couldn't walk or else it would like pinch a left nut so bad to where it constricts it so uh at 11 o'clock i have to be at the i have to be at the church at noon 11 o'clock is when i this all this happened luckily there's a place in garden city kansas called keps that was open on christmas eve wow. on a saturday nice and i was able to go there that dude uh, who was the owner, and it's a small place in Garden City, Kansas, but he had me in and out of there in like 30 minutes in a brand new suit that was kind of expensive, but I was just like, still, but I made it to the funeral on time. Everything went on without a hitch. Did anybody but, say, man, nice suit? Yes, a lot of people <laughs> did. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. worth it. That's good. Dude, he did everything too. He like freaking steamed the whole thing and everything for me. It was that's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. It was, it was a bad situation. Turned into a very good experience. Well, now you know uh, where to go get your suits. I do. I do. Mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. I wanted to give him a shout out because it was very nice. Uh, but then... Uh, the rest of the weekend was just, you know, Christmas. Christmas and football and family yeah. members and stuff that you got to do even though you don't really want to do. Mm, yeah. You know those family members that you have that, like, they're family and you love them, but uh, if they weren't family members, you fucking hate their guts? Oh, no, I have family members that I hate their guts. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was just getting ready to yeah. say. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I had those I, experiences, but that I was my week. I have a brother-in-law that I would like to see get run over by a fucking truck. <laughs> hey, so, me too. Yeah. <laughs> if we get them together somewhere <laughs> and get a truck, dude, I'm in. Yeah, bro. No, I, I like Nobody it. would miss I like the guy. It. Yeah, I like it. He's uh, He happens to be gay, which is fine. I don't care. But, <laughs> he's JP's the, guy. but, but the problem is, is that he's, he is is a professional victim and he is convinced that because he's gay uh he is the most marginalized group of and, and <laughs> dude here's the deal is that not the way it is marginalized <laughs> groups of people still have fucking cocksuckers and assholes <laughs> in them and those people are just shitty fucking people regardless of True. what their ethnicity is or whose dick they suck or whose <laughs> pussy they eat all that shit you can still just have a piece of shit human being <laughs> corbin's a cunt that's what i'm hey, saying as a corbin, member as corbin a member. is a fucking cunt and i hate that guy oh, as he's a, member uh, of he's the a gay useless community. human being we're all that way. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just going to be no, real. I'm just going to be met real. Lots of people of the gay community no. that are very, very sweet people. Well, yeah. You, you, you know, met, you met the 2%. I know. <laughs> because let me tell you, they're all a bunch of fucks. <laughs> now, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, fun. But yeah, so that made uh, Christmas Eve not fun at all because we had to deal with his hijinks and shenanigans. <laughs> 
uh ended up in a yelling match and us leaving early it was wow. fucking stupid everybody's having a good time Holy until shit like he you- got drunk and he's crying and it's all about him again it happens oh. every single fucking time <laughs> it's just a matter of when not if if that's gonna happen and so that sucked but is Chris this your best day, friend jp chris's day I was cool i don't, cool as I don't shit. know the guy but i'm thinking about introducing myself <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah it uh, seems it's like good. it seems like my yeah. kind of dude does he yeah. have does he have rainbow colored hair no, oh, regu- no, he uh, oh. he dressed like he had on Elton John's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christmas. It was a very sparkly <laughs> black jacket. Oh, man. Uh, and then, but the rest of his outfit looked like a like a heroin addict in Russia. <laughs> I love that you uh, called that an outfit. He, well, yeah, <laughs> because it, it was. It was. Yeah. And so it's like a little Gucci belt and a and a uh, gold chain with oh, an open shirt. And oh, fantastic! I don't understand. And, and then he had on like these, gay mafia with it. Yeah, he, he had on the, these therapeutic shoes. But <laughs> it looked like therapeutic shoes, but he was like, "Oh my god, these are fifteen hundred dollars!" Like, oh, what? Who gives a fuck, bro? Oh, that's fucking um, great. So yeah, he was uh, he was he was unbearable as always. So it's, <laughs> hate that motherfucker. My favorite part of the him. story is when he goes, "And he's gay." <laughs> yeah. I just figured I would put that out. I figured you would that probably figure it out yeah. along the way when yeah, right. i described when, him when but he said therapeutic shoes and sparkly <laughs> jacket <laughs> <laughs> yeah That's so it's uh, it, yeah it was so he he ruined christmas eve but christmas day was really fun oh yeah, yeah, yeah great do? time just kids and all that shit lots of booze and wife yeah. was cool yeah i uh yeah i mean we were great it was uh it was actually a really enjoyable time that's Past great. couple days yeah that's that's awesome so, yeah yeah definitely ah <sighs> well fuck I I was gonna, all right. Have you ever? I got a question. So you guys have road. You guys go on road trips from time to time, right? Yep. Have you ever like gone to the same place over and over again, and then all of a sudden find a shortcut that no. saves you like uh, a lot of time? Nope. Okay, I did that. <laughs> really? I shit you not. I've, my my parents were divorced since I was three years old. Uh-huh. I've been driving the exact same way to get to the same place since I was three years old. How much time did the shortcut save you? Thirty five minutes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Thirty five oh fucking minutes. Oh my gosh! They always took the scenic route, so he's wow. like, "That's the only way to get Ser- there." Seriously, this is no wow. bullshit. No bullshit. I'm I'm uh, and I, we found it the last time I went there. But I didn't. I didn't know if that was just a coincidence that that's what happened. I wasn't even fucking doing what I normally do, which he is going ten over. An hour and ten minutes every trip. Every now. trip, <laughs> I round shit trip. You not. It's an hour and ten. From minutes. Wichita to Garden City is normally uh, three hours and forty minutes from door to door, right? Yeah. So yeah. it took me three hours and five minutes from door to door the last two times. No shit. And I shit you not. That's a lot of fucking time to say. <laughs> it is, man. That that adds up quick. Oh, that was the other thing. I've been driving back and forth to Kansas City for the past couple of weeks building yeah. building a structure. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, you're probably going to figure this out already, but it was for a couple of gay guys. Of I, I spent a lot of time <laughs> with the gay community. Is there something that you uh, need? To, nah, we'll talk you know, after the whatever. show. Natalie has a dick. So <laughs> it's weird. Um, but, uh, he loves getting no, pegged. No, they, they wanted this structure to be like a, a, an art piece basically and so so the roof of this structure had like four different roof pitches and 18 feet which is not a big structure and to have that many different angles and stuff it yeah. was like a geometry contest and it was uh it was very stressful actually but i got that thing all sewn up it's so all done uh it, the roof is done okay. um so yeah the rest of it will be hopefully done after the first of the year no oh, that's so, yeah. fucking awesome well good yeah, for you good stuff man anybody else have anything crazy happen at christmas that nope. you're aware of no okay all right i just want to make sure before moving <laughs> you're on, aware of i'm kind of wanting more <laughs> details about this gay brother-in-law to be honest with oh, you oh he's just such a scumbag <laughs> his name is colin <laughs> no it's no, corbin it's corbin <laughs> corbin corbin <laughs> let's not get it mixed up let's not get <laughs> why, why did uh, my watch is telling me i'm ending my workout all right i didn't even know it was all you should probably start it yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh shit 
Oh, if Colin didn't sound gay enough, you had yeah. to go Corbin. Corbin. Well, and we're all named we're all named Colin and, Corbin or JP. Yeah, well, <laughs> and gay jackpot. Uh, Corbin has a brother named Colin. So yeah, wow. that's, uh, there you go. Yeah, oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shit. Corbin, Colin, and Ryan. Oh uh, well, and and I'm guessing Ryan's cool. I like, and I like See? Colin too. I really like Colin. He's okay. actually pretty cool. But Corbin can suck a dick. <laughs> he literally <laughs> he can. does can. a lot. He literally yeah. can. Yeah. Good shit. Does a lot. Well, folks, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. I hope everybody was safe, got home. Uh, But guess what happens after this weekend? Comes New Year's. Yay. 2024. 2023 went by as a fucking flash. Yeah, but before that is my birthday on the 29th. Well, what oh, what a nice. Shit, I might be mm. ditching JP's New Year's fun and going <laughs> and hanging out with you. <laughs> See if I can meet this Corbin I I, fella. I think I'm just going to the hockey game. That's all I'm doing. Like, that's it. Uh, is shit. Corbin going to be there? Because no, it sounds like Scotty no. really wants to meet Corbin. He will be, uh, he will be back across the Damn country. It. I was so hoping we can make a Zamboni accident, if you know yeah. Yeah, saying? that would be fucking awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, well, shit. It was the orthopedic shoes. <laughs> he couldn't control himself on the ice. Yes, Dude, <laughs> slid right under the zamboni. <laughs> That's Fuck. Fucking great. Uh, but anyways, hope all of you guys had a very merry Christmas. Uh, but yeah, now we get to move on to 2024, which is really cool. Fuck yeah. Uh, the closer that we get, I don't know if you guys know this. The closer that we get to uh, the first week of uh, the NFL playoffs. Mm-hmm. That will mark five years of laughing on the sidelines. Wow. Five years. That is four years Happy and 11 months longer yes. than I thought it was going to go. <laughs> Dude, it's been a trip. It's been a lot of fun. So is uh, that yeah. five years all laughing on the sidelines or no. was it the... It was, un- uh, it was the unfiltered sports unfiltered. cast okay. for, right. I want to say, like a year and a half or two. Okay. Something like all that. Right. Cool. But uh, then we we realized that nobody gives a fuck what we think about sports. Yeah. And so we went we went to comedy, and comedy was a lot more fun. Nice. Yeah. I like it. But yeah, so five years of that, and uh, yeah, pretty exciting. But uh, guys, if you haven't already done so, do me a favor. Pause the podcast uh, and go and leave us a uh, five-star review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, uh, whatever you, platform you look uh, or use. That helps us out a lot. We sincerely do appreciate all of you guys are doing that. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you haven't, please do so. Uh, but now we get to move on to the headlines. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but the whole weekend was just fucking football. <laughs> like, that's all it oh, was. Yeah. I mean, Christmas was on Monday. Uh, and then Sunday was Christmas Eve. Everybody's already hanging out with family, so everybody turned on football games, and ha- and there was there was quite a few good ones. So yeah, there were. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and the kick- Bears won, uh, and mathematically okay. are still in the hunt. Yeah, somehow, <laughs> some fucking how that happened. Yep. Uh, but most importantly, I think everybody already knows. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, that the Detroit Lions for the very first time ever. Are the NFC North champions? Yay! There's all kinds of like things that are out there saying they haven't won since 1993. No, the NFC Central was the last time the Lions actually won, not the North. Wow! So yeah, right. this is the first time we've ever won the North. I was really excited. Uh, and now we get to go and play a very pissed off Dallas Cowboys team next week. Yeah, in Dallas, that's, uh, they were embarrassed. Like sure that were. was uh, that was not a good game for uh, them at all. Well, they will have a great game on. Uh, I believe it's Sunday, maybe Saturday. But uh, whenever they play the Detroit Lions, I think that we're going to get the very best Dak Prescott and the rest of yeah. the Dallas Cowboys. Well, they have to. Yeah, so yeah, they don't have a choice. Pretty much. Uh, but that kind of puts us in kind of a weird situation because if you look at the playoff picture, if the playoffs started today, mm-hmm. uh, we would currently have uh, the number three. I say we. The Lions would have the number three ranking in the NFC, and they would then play the fucking red-hot Los Angeles Rams. I don't want none of that. I yeah. really don't, I don't want yeah. think anybody none, does. None yeah. of that. They yeah, are looking that. very good, and uh, even if it's a home game, still that's uh, that's going to be a tough team. The NFC is going to be pretty fucking strong all the way through. Yeah. So, anyways, no. uh, moving on. I was really pumped uh, on the uh, fantasy football situation. Oh yeah, here we uh, go. For those of you guys who don't know, I, I made it to the semifinals last week, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen, for the gentlemen for the fourth year in a row, I'm going to the championship, baby. 
And for the fourth year in a row, no one gives no a fuck one either. Fucking oh, cares. Yeah, don't lie. You really do <laughs> no, care. No, no. Yes. No. Not even a little. No. Oh, yeah. And I even like, I I played my uncle who had the best team in the league. No, you're going to love this. No, I do. Okay. I'm I tell, do. I'm telling you. Oh, I love fantasy football. All I'm going to say is he had the best team. He only lost, I think, once or twice the entire season. And I beat him. And just as a joke, I sent him like an edited picture of my team's logo and his team logo. And mine says winner. His said loser. Yeah. And I had it like flexed out saying, get bodied, uncle. Oh, my. He hasn't talked to me. And that was on fucking Christmas. Oh, he, wow. he never responded. And he apparently told my mom he's really pissed. <laughs> oh, wow. So, hey, man, take a joke. I like it. But uh, moving on uh, with that there's, whole situation. There's two minutes we could have back. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Uh, Joe Flacco <laughs> and the Cleveland Browns. Oh, fuck yeah. Dick. As much as I hate to say it, man. What? Fuck, I hate Flacco. I love Flacco. I hate him. Because I hate him a as Ra- a Raven. I'm a Bronco fan. I know. And they fucked us and fucked us. I know. And I, like I want to hate him. But you can't. But man, you can't. how impressive is He's he? He's 38 years old. I thought he was older than that. Did you see his like fucking special needs helmet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's, what was with that? I don't know. I don't know. He just. I Why does he have a special needs helmet? Nobody else had one. Because well, he has special needs. I mean, special apparently. Needs. Did they just. You know, they're like, hey, Flacco's coming. Go get one of those <laughs> helmets from the 50s and <laughs> spray paint it. And, yeah, pretty I mean, much. It's pretty much what it looked like. No, but yeah. I, I, they, I looked it up because I thought, I was like, dude, he's got to be pushing like 43, 44. Oh, no, no. He's 38 years yeah, old. Yeah, he's, and he's under the, 40. He's like the third string quarterback for the Browns. They put him in, and now all of a sudden, they have won three straight games. Dude, the dude's on fire man not to mention mm-hmm. uh obviously they beat houston with a backup quarterback it would have been more uh more impressive if it was cj stroud but he uh he threw to age or sorry he threw to amari cooper a fucking lot he had mm-hmm. uh, i think two touchdowns like amari 260 mm-hmm. yards and that guy was sitting on my bench but still one uh, but yeah, dude, he's 38 years old. That's still fucking impressive. And I hope, that, like, I think now the the Cleveland Browns have a 99 percent chance to make the playoffs. You dick. No, I think I don't have. A, I think if they don't make the playoffs, it'd be shocking. It would. Yeah, they they yeah, yeah I, no I, doubt. I agree. They have a very very high probability of making the playoffs, and I so agree. I hope I'm kind of rooting for him. I'm not gonna lie. I really I really hope he does well. Uh, but yeah. Um, next thing the. Uh, uh, Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield hint at a possible long-term contract. Uh, hey, hey. RIP to the Buccaneers. Hey, yeah. buddy. Hey, buddy. I like Mr. Baker Mayfield. Oh, I like him. I like him. his commercials. I think he's great. I, I think like he's his awesome. commercials. I don't like That's, him as a quarterback. Yeah, I, don't I don't, think he's why? a good quarterback. I think he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's not good enough to win a Super Bowl. Uh, Gardner Mays is probably You're better. right. He's not. I give you he's that. He's the next Tony Romo, man. Oh, no, yeah. I think Tony Romo's yeah. better than he is. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, but no. He'll get that, there. That he'll have his chances, thing, yeah. but he'll fuck it hey, off. Yep. I take that back. You know what? He's like Joe Flacco. Uh, only he's younger right now. But here's the thing. Joe Flacco won a Super Bowl, and yeah. that was because his defense was fucking Ray Lewis. Ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, don't ever yeah, say. He was literally murdering people to protect him. <laughs> 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 literally. <laughs> this is true. Uh, but yeah, uh, but I mean, congratulations to him. I hope he has yeah. a good career there in Tampa Bay, and I hope he continues to get good because they're actually uh, leading their division. So that's the shittiest division in football, practically. But they're going to probably make the playoffs. It's either them or the uh, Atlanta Falcons. Um, but um, yeah, the la- the game last last night, the Ravens in San Francisco, dude. Wow. Yeah. I'm telling you, Brock Purdy has just lost the shine. I don't think he just is just getting worse, man. I don't like, think he lost the shine. I watched as as I much of that game that I could. The shine. But uh he threw four interceptions. And I will say two of them were definitely his fault. Mm-hmm. Two of them may not have been. So mm. I mean that's still that's still two bad decisions at least. He threw the ball into a spot where they had the even the opportunity mm-hmm. to knock that ball up or to fuck it. It was definitely his fault. I know. Yeah. I said two of them. Two of them but definitely. All four of them. Well, isn't he so. a backup quarterback for the 49ers anyway? He was initially, yeah. Oh, okay. they, they drafted right. Trey Lance and tried to make him their starter, and he was god-awful. God awful. Yeah. So uh, he became the third. He was the third string after Garoppolo went down, and then Trey really? Lance sucked, and then he came in, and he was Mr. Irrelevant and became a stud. Listen, okay. the, her, the first part of the season, he was in question to be the MVP. 
MVP. No shit. The MVP. I don't think he's going to be MVP. He this is year. not going to be the that's MVP. That's why they play a whole season. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, exactly. But I still don't yeah. think I still think the best team in the NFL, even after everybody has a bad game. OK, but even after last not night's me. game, I think Brock Purdy is, is going to still take San Francisco to the Super Bowl. I just I think that's I think the Super Bowl was what we saw last night. They better just bad. pray it's not against the Ravens. I think it'll be the Ravens. I really I think mean, it, I think it probably gonna, should it's be. It's going to probably be the yeah, Ravens and too. the 49ers. Yeah. So uh, that was just a preview mm, in it. Could be. It, it could it was pretty gross, but I think it'll be a lot better when it comes to Super Bowl. But anyways, the probably the best, the best part of the week for at least me and JP and probably Steve as well because Steve, you don't like the Chiefs, do you? Not a huge Chiefs fan. Yeah. I don't hate them, but oh, okay. I'm not well, just not a I fan. I hate them. <laughs> okay. All <laughs> right. The Chiefs. Well, yeah, but you're a Broncos fan. Yeah. So that's, uh, I'm, but, a, I'm a Lions fan, and I can't I, stand the Chiefs. Of course I watched the game because it was the only thing on, yeah, and it right. was interesting to watch, but my goodness, dude. Oh, like I'm, I'm very hesitant to sign on to the whole Taylor Swift as a distraction to Travis Kelsey and da-da-da-da-da, but man. Maybe not. It's kind of getting hard to deny that. I mean, it really is. You like, see? if you look at since their relationship got <laughs> yeah, serious, right. what's been happening? It's, it's pretty Yikes, obvious. man. Yeah. I mean, coincidences are coincidences, but ah, She's I don't jinxed. know. Did you it's see his just, neck? No. Did you see Travis Kelsey's neck? Was uh-uh. it covered in hickeys? She sucked no the life way. out of him. No, no shit. Way. She su- I bet she sucks a great dick, <laughs> too. I bet she does. <laughs> I uh, no, I well, I, I believe think, he's probably got a great dick. Did you so. see? Did you see him throw his helmet down and oh, it yeah, flipped yeah, all the yeah. way over the bench? Oh, and yeah. then somebody ran to get it, and Andy Reid was like, "No, no fuck, fuck that! that. Yeah. He's not playing." Yeah, I was like, "Whoa, yeah, that was he, awesome." He lost his shit. But yeah. yeah, she sucked yeah. the athletic talent out of that guy. I feel bad for him. Not, yeah. I mean, not really. That's, out of all the Chiefs fans, I, I, don't know, I guess all the Chiefs I'll give her players. the opportunity to suck the athletic talent out of me too. But <laughs> it's you know, well, I'm pretty sure life has done that. I was gonna say you don't. Really have much left. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, gambling. But no, yeah. out of all of the Chiefs players, I, Travis Kelsey is probably my favorite out of all of them. Yeah. Um. But nothing, absolutely nothing, makes me happier than uh, Brittany Mahomes. I just don't being coddled by Taylor Swift after he yeah. throws another interception. So fucking fabulous. <laughs> I oh. love those memes that are like Taylor asking Brittany can. can <laughs> Can Patrick throw it to our team instead? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's I, funny. <laughs> um, but no, I just I to watch the 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 emotions over the past couple games that they've played. Oh yeah, and to not even be close to in check, to not be professional, to not be. I don't know, man. Like Patrick Mahomes is pissed off because the refs called a penalty that was very fucking obvious, and he even admitted, yeah. He was lined up wrong, but they don't just don't call that motherfucker. What? Like, you know, and now we have to listen to Kermit fucking <laughs> bitch chastise us and tell us how the refs are the problem. And I don't know, man, it, it, it just looks, it's got a bad optic. Oh, totally. You well, know what I mean? Does. Like it just, they're, they're the, they're the reigning Super Bowl champions yeah. more than once. They're, you know, Patrick Mahomes is supposed to be the greatest fucking thing since sliced bread. And it's, it's just between him and a couple other players and stuff like that. Matt Nagy's a fucking idiot. Get him gone <laughs> immediately. No, keep him there. Um, I want them to continue to suck. <laughs> you don't understand. Matt Nagy sucked for the Bears. He's going to suck for the Chiefs, too. Yeah, it, it's, it's just a matter of time. But And I wonder if some of that inside stuff has something to do with it may, them it imploding a little bit. Like, I don't know. But it, it doesn't look good. But if you even all. look at the game on paper, like, we all watched it, and we saw that she – and I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it, but you didn't even realize – but um, they obviously had a backup quarterback for um, the Raiders that was playing, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I don't know if you saw, he had zero completed passes after the first quarter. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> so they he just didn't, ran he through He didn't them. complete a pass after the first quarter. They literally ran it through them <laughs> the whole game. <laughs> the whole game. Yeah. And if they didn't run the ball, guess what? They just picked off Patrick yeah, Mahomes say, for a touchdown. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you got to understand, like, that's not even just getting beat. That's getting beat so oh, they bad. Got that's, yeah. They were that's. favored by 11 and a half points, and they blew it. And it was at home, if I remember correctly. Wasn't that in Kansas City? Yeah, uh, yeah, I it was so, in Kansas yeah. City. I think it was. Um, but now you also got to look at it. the Chiefs are now three and five over their last eight games. That's crazy. This is the very first time for Patrick Mahomes to, as as the starting quarterback for the Chiefs to have six losses in a season. 
Um, it'll be the first time he doesn't play at home during the playoffs. It'll be the first time yeah. he doesn't play at home during yeah. the playoff. I mean, like, guys, this Kelsey has one touchdown in those last eight games that I'm talking That's about. That's insanity. That's crazy. That is insanity. It's fucking crazy. So, yeah. and I think the only thing that kept them in the game was the Chiefs' defense. So, for once, the the Chiefs' defense is actually okay, and the offense is what looks like shit. Dude, here's the deal. Like, he, I think Kelsey's getting laid too often. You know, maybe like it's just making him lazy and his balls are drained <laughs> yeah, constantly. No, right. There's I know, no, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've got a yeah. buddy that plays baseball for a college and he won't fucking have sex like on the weeks that they yeah. have games. He's yeah. like, you can't, yep. you, he goes, I can't ruin it. He 100%. Goes, like, yeah. That's a thing. That's, that's a thing. That, what was it? The the uh, uh, Mythbusters did yeah. a thing on that, I think. Or did they on, really? Yeah, I think it was either Myth, Mythbusters or it was one of them. It was a Discovery Channel deal or something like that. And they, they took testosterone readings and all kinds yeah. of shit yeah. before and after and stuff like that. And it's. You know, it's like hunters. Uh, some hunters will will not eat when they go hunting because it makes yeah. them more hungry to you know. Hunt, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, that's just like it, like when I was single. You know, like the, the thrill of the chase when you're going to the bar that night. Okay, and it's like maybe we're gonna have pussy Christmas tonight, or <laughs> yeah, or, or we're just gonna end up at IHOP yeah. and there's fucking lumps of coal. Drowning you know? ourselves but, in all you can eat pancakes. But if you're but if Checking you're just off in fucking, the bathroom. if you're too comfortable. I think you could just kind of get Soft? into a f- yeah yeah you know what I mean like it's just not good maybe not good. I think that's a myth I, I really think it's a myth uh, well, you're fucking wrong well yeah. here's here's, here's <laughs> We've why already told you you're wrong and I and Derek's not here to tell me the guy's name oh no it was Mark Grace uh he he coined the term slump buster you know what a slump buster is right yeah I've, I've yeah, fucked fat chicks it's, before it's, I know exactly what that chick. yeah for sure so Mark Grace would get into a slump and then he would like have him, sex actually. with a fat chick and and that would break his slump <laughs> squishy not even a, not even a slump buster is interested in me anymore man <laughs> I can't even yeah it's it's bad it's real bad out there oh like yeah, it. but no, I think that I, I think that's a myth because I I, I think it uh, it doesn't really it shouldn't matter if yeah. you, if you fuck yeah. you fuck if you don't fuck you don't fuck if anything it makes you angrier when you don't yeah unless she's yeah. a cock tease and then it just really pisses you off well I think that's what he needs because yeah. then he'll be frustrated and fucking go play football right yeah. you know uh, what I mean he'll take out that aggression but the main thing that I wanted to get to about this game in particular Taylor Swift is a slut that's what I'm saying <laughs> she's too easy she's obviously showing signs hide she your fucking is. flappy vagina for five minutes so he's, uh, he can go concentrate on something else I bet you anything that 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 snatch probably smells like strawberries all the time oh, oh no cinnamon and apple <laughs> chutney is what that thing smells like <laughs> guaranteed yeah that's that's a fuck <laughs> <laughs> that is a Martha Stewart grade <laughs> vagina yes. all day long. Like it smells I was gonna like say cucumber melon. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Her tits smell like fresh linen. Yeah, like it's yeah. Her butthole has just a little sage in it or something. Like no, her her whole body is Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, guaranteed. Uh, Hate that bitch. But my favorite part of the entire game. Big old mashed potato titties. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got the lumps in them. Oh, shit. That's breast cancer. Sorry. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Where are we going? <laughs> the oh, best geez. part of that entire game, which was probably the most controversial thing that happened, mm-hmm. uh, was in one of those pick sixes. Mm-hmm. Um, the defensive player for the Las Vegas oh. Raiders, Jack Jones. Uh, this was great. <laughs> He's such a douche, man. <laughs> He go. He picks the ball off, runs it in for a touchdown, goes up to a kid wearing the Kansas City stuff on, yeah. and acts like he's gonna hand the ball to him. And when the kid, like when the kid reaches out to take the ball, is when he decides Fucking to take it back, it back and run off with yeah, it. Yeah, but in his defense, if that kid had been in blackface, he would have given it. To him. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Uh, that's that's a callback from a uh, oh, conversation I, we had. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Anybody anybody that's listening right yeah. now, I'm not. That's all right. Anyway, yeah. just look anyways. up. It's black and yellow face. <laughs> yes. Uh, or black, black and red. Black face. and red. Yeah. Sorry. But anyways, yeah. I I I cannot decide. Okay. Obviously, the 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 funny side of this is yes. I think that if somebody talked about doing something like that so we would all go oh yeah that'd be fucking hilarious but the fact it's is kind of hilarious <laughs> but the fact that the guy did that yeah 
and the guy's dad was like sitting right next to him and i oh man he cre- he just created the most anti raiders person for the he, rest he of his was, life he was israel and he was <laughs> getting ready he was getting ready to give this fucking gaza kid a loaf of bread and just took it right back yeah. and has now created a terrorist <laughs> against the las vegas raiders he has for, created the rest of Hamas. for five generations yes. they will hate that fucking football team <laughs> so basically what we're saying is uh that uh, Jack Jones created Hamas and that little kid. I think that's what yeah. happened. Dude, did you yeah. see at the beginning of the game him arguing with the coach? Uh, no. Jack Jones, like, he, the coach was, like, trying to tell him one thing, and he just kept, like, he's trying to break him up from a fight, and he grabs oh. him, and he's starting to pull him off, and he's, like, throwing the coach off of him, Jesus. still going. And then they, like, get into a verbal deal right there on the sidelines, and the coach just fucking puts his clipboard back in his belt and walks back. Like, he uh, got defeated. Yeah. And I'm like, I get you're an interim coach, but if you're fucking letting your players do that to you he's, on the yeah, field, that's what well, the fuck? He's going to get this job, too. No. He, uh, he's going to get the job. Of course he, he yeah. is. The Raiders yeah. are still somewhat I was eligible. hoping they were going to bring yep. back John Gruden. Yeah. Yeah, I was too, but that's okay. No, he sent dirty emails or something. <laughs> I don't remember what the fuck he did, but he did something he did. stupid. Uh, yeah. But anyways, yeah, I, I didn't know. I wanted to ask, uh, uh, would you guys be able to do that to a kid? Oh, like, absolutely. You would be oh, able yeah. to do it. Have you ever oh, met sure. my fucking kids? I'll for do sure. that to them. I'll Dude, do that to kids I different. know. No, no, that's different. I've always the- wanted some some kid to come up to me for an autograph if I ever got famous and just sign it, fuck off, and then hand it back to him. <laughs> why? Be, why not? Because, because fuck you. Well, dude. It's, but, a, it's, a, teaching, it's, it's a, a teaching. It's a teachable moment. moment. Yeah. yeah. But the real reality <laughs> is, is that we're eventually going to have another show where we have people come and see you. And if you do that to any of our fans, I would hate you forever. I would never do that to one of our fans. Oh, okay. All right. That's wink, fine. wink. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all, as as I love all 50 of you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unconditionally. As long that's as it a, says "fuck off" from JP, then okay, that, then that, that's, that's okay. true. Right. Yeah, there yeah, you go. I like okay. that. Uh, uh, for the next live show, I'm going to have T-shirts made that say "Corbin is a cunt." <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, that's but anyways, merch. But now we get to move Why on. Why are we even here? <laughs> I, I have know. no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I love it. But anyways, now we get to move on to the fun segments. The segments where we actually did Tuesday Fun Day. I'm sorry, guys, but yesterday was Christmas. So I didn't put it out uh, on Monday. Um, but yeah, we have uh, Tuesday fun day. fuck. Yeah, no shit. Uh, but yeah, so we have uh, Never Have I Ever, and uh, that's where I draw the line. And questions, uh, a lot of these suggestions came from you guys. Um, so we appreciate all of you guys that uh, made your comments. I know some of these are actually some that I actually had from a couple of weeks ago. So uh, mm-hmm. even if I don't pick it that particular week, I hold on to some of them if I think they're good. And we get to kick off with nice. Never Have I Ever. Uh, the first mm-hmm. one uh, is going to come in from Wolf Rob X. He wants to know: Never have I ever pranked someone so badly that they end up calling the cops. Mm. I I mean, I played mailbox baseball one time. <laughs> I thought that was a prank, but they all called the cops. <laughs> yeah. I blew up some mailboxes. Oh my yeah, God. same kind yeah, of deal. That's uh, probably not a good idea. Statute of limitations is it gone yet? Oh, yeah. oh I've already been to court. Okay, because that's a they, fel- uh, that's I ended a felony. Up, I ended up having to go to court too. It was a felony. You are correct, and it was a felony. It <laughs> it was. Was I had twenty six counts. Oh, nice, of, nice. of home runs on mailboxes? Yep. Home runs. They had pictures. They were not all me. Blow, they had pictures of blown up mail. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. They were like, exhibit A, this blown oh up letter. Oh, exhibit wow. B. <laughs> like, dude, they take that shit really yeah. serious. 100% they do. Yeah, they do. Uh, God. Uh, but no, I don't <laughs> think... I don't think I've ever. We played should go it. out sometime. I love it, dude. dude we let's would get, get fucking yeah, drunk. We're gonna yeah. get arrested, but <laughs> for sure, fuck it, hundred percent. I got a question. So whenever we get old enough, like let's say we're in our sixties and we're doing shit like that, do you think the cops would just let us go? I think so. Do I you think, think they, they have just? To. Like, I think so, and I'll tell you why. A buddy of mine, his <laughs> his mother and aunt uh, lived together. When his father passed away, uh, his aunt's husband had passed away shortly before that, or. And he's like, hey, I'm going to move you to Benton and to live with mom. And, you know, I'm taking over the business. You guys will have all the money you ever wanted. Do whatever you want, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, they're awesome. They're Mm -hmm. awesome. And they're old. Okay. And they were driving home from a a deal in Benton. Yeah. And they were driving home, and they both had twisted tees. Yeah. Yeah. And they were just fucking 
they took nice. a nice or whatever. Well, they got pulled over. Oh, oh yeah. shit! And they convinced the cop that they, they had just no it, idea. They thought, thought it was tea. real tea. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, that's fucking. Oh, awesome. we had no idea there was alcohol. Yeah, and they let them fucking go. That's gangster. That's I love works. that. And they damn sure knew. <laughs> let me tell you, that is fucking awesome. <laughs> right. So yeah, I think that they they would just let us off. Being white and old <laughs> is a fucking shoe in for. Yeah, you can do whatever the <laughs> you fuck, fuck you want, you really. Want. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. Uh, next <laughs> one uh, comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know, mm -hmm. never have I ever shopped at a gas station because I waited until the last minute for Christmas gifts. Just did that on Christmas did Day. Did you fucking yep. really? I had to go get salt for my wife, and then I also bought two gift cards while I was there to give as gifts. Oh, okay. The gift yep. card's not bad. Well, That's I don't know what the fuck else you'd wrap at a gas station. Well, why the like fuck a, are you getting your wife salt for Christmas? Twinkies. Because she's a salty Keep bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she needed a refill. Exactly. <laughs> no, she had to, like, brine a turkey or something. She yeah. didn't have enough salt, so oh, I was like, alright, I think I can go to a, a quick shop, because it's kind of a miniature little... Yeah, you know it is I mean? kind of like a Walmart-ish. So, and then she needed heavy whipping cream for her coffee. Mm, so mm. yeah whipping something mm. uh, no but what i mean is is have you ever like act like bought wiper blades for your that would be badass i should have done that <laughs> i totally should have i should have wrapped a jug of wiper fluid <laughs> yes that would have been awesome <laughs> it was a little kid too oh That's yeah great. uh I've, here you go i've never done it the gift cards they that they have there is kind of like a cheat because yeah, they all have it yeah, now yeah but like no if you if 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 quick trip or valero or whatever is the only place open and you go in and buy like yeah. air fresheners for a birthday or for a I christmas gift that's so Jesus great Jesus christ i have never done that have you jp can i have these old hot dogs on the back <laughs> roller <laughs> right. can i get a discount <laughs> yeah. i'm giving them out for christmas that's awesome try wrapping those sons of bitches no i've never done that okay all right uh next one comes in from john childress uh, he wants to know, never have I ever followed through with my New Year's resolution. I used to fuck a guy named John Childress. <laughs> oh, did you? It's mm -hmm. him. Is it the same guy? I don't know. I don't know. 100%. It's but him. did you follow through with your New Year's resolutions? <laughs> You know, I don't think I ever have. I don't think I ever have either. Like, I've always tried to for a couple of weeks, and then I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do it this year for one month. I'm going to do the carnivore diet and exercise every single day and not drink for one month. I'm thinking about doing the fasting thing. I know. The fasting thing. I, here's That's the deal. a lot of stuff. My, my wife is like, okay, you're not going to do that. <laughs> you're going to drink on the weekends like normal people. And I was like... <laughs> All right, sounds good. You've twisted my arm. <laughs> so you were already giving up. And a little you bit. Even yeah, a little well, bit. it hasn't started yet. We just we just okay. altered the terms of the okay. agreement. Okay, that's cool. So, but <laughs> only meat, eggs, and like I think it's fish or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. exercise and everything. Pretty much. I'm gonna see how fast I can lose like thirty pounds. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm definitely not that badass of a person. I've never followed through with my New Year's yeah, resolution. No. Yeah, no, no, never. No. Uh, next one. Uh, this comes in from Brady Harrington. He wants to know, never have I ever lost my shit and then realized I was actually in the wrong. A lot of times. <laughs> Are I'm you gay. sure this is from Brady Harrington and not Corbin? <laughs> yeah, because this sounds like a Corbin yeah, question. Yeah, this is definitely a fucking Corbin question yeah. right here. I'm gay. Of course it's, like, it's No, we're not going to give you any sympathy for being a dick. <laughs> shit. Uh yeah, yes. I, everybody on planet Earth has fucking done that. And then you have to call the next day and apologize and then get told all the shit you forgot about that you did. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, that's... If you've ever drank, this has happened. This has happened. This has happened. This is why I quit drinking. <laughs> this is the sole reason. <laughs> there you go. This is the sole reason why I quit drinking was because I, I would be extremely wrong, extremely annoying, and, and a prick, and then... Uh, Wake up the next morning, not remember that I did that and had to be told by my wife exactly what I did. Oh, dude, that's the worst. Yeah. Because you wake up and you already kind of have a little anxiety anyway, you know? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. But you're you're kind of like, all right, I made it to the couch. I've got a little breakfast in me. I'm good. I'm going to watch some football. Yep. And then she's like, guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> and then shows you the pictures and the recordings and shit. And you're just immediately like, oh, oh no. Uh, like, it's the worst and you know fucking how, day. And you know how it starts off, right? You sit down and then she it's just really quiet and she yep. goes so how much of last night do you remember yes i fucking hate that dude <laughs> and it's like 
Oh, here. Yeah, here I call those my Alec Baldwin moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you know it's getting ready to go south yeah. real quick. Uh, yeah, and then I got to call Derek and apologize. So anyway, nice. nice. Uh, and last one. This one comes in from Brian Garberding. Hell yeah, yeah, Brian. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever... Yeah, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, Brian. <laughs> yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Brad, Brad. Brian. The Brianator. Brian. Okay, that's enough. Yeah. Brian. Uh, <laughs> Brian. Brian. Yeah, family guy. Uh, but never have I ever put something back in the fridge knowing it was empty, then forgetting to pick up more when I needed to. Uh, yes, I have done that, and I also accidentally left my gun in the fridge one time. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck were you doing? Well, all right. So I had like all my shit, my keys, my gun, all my shit. I was getting ready to take to my car and I was uh, meal prepping at the time. So I grabbed two meals out of there, but I couldn't get all of it. So I set my gun down in the refrigerator on the top shelf, <laughs> grabbed all the shit I needed and I was in a hurry. So I just ran out to my car, got in it and left. And then my wife was like, why the fuck is there a gun in our refrigerator? <laughs> I was like, you just never know that milk was looking shady. <laughs> yeah. So so, uh, yeah, I've done that. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've, I think everybody – toothpaste. It, quick, like Q-tips and toothpaste and shit like that are easy for me to know that I need to get, and I forget all the time. Oh, yeah, that's like, I'll go to the store three times. I'm like, uh -huh. fuck, every time. Yeah. yeah. Mine's milk. Is it? Yeah, mine's milk. I, no. I, I will tell you this. If I, if I eat all of something or drink everything, I'm not the guy that waits to the very last drop and puts it back in there. Right. That's a fucking pet peeve of mine. Yeah. So I will throw it away, but that is also my signal because I'm, I'm like a 13-year-old child and have yeah. to be taken care of by my wife. I that is it. my signal of whenever she goes to get anything <laughs> out of the fridge or to get milk out of the fridge. And realizes, motherfucker, now I got to go to the store and get milk in order to make whatever food she needs to make for herself. <laughs> so I am a dick by not telling her, but I don't wait to the last drop. I I'm, like it. I mean, like JP. It. If by fridge you mean asshole. Yeah. Then yes. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I love it. Good stuff. Never have I <laughs> ever. <laughs> bum, bum, Excuse bum, me. Bum, bum. But that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single Yay. episode. This is That's Where I Draw the Line. We've got a whole bunch of good ones. I like it these is. in there today. Uh, but uh, we're going to go with uh, Brendan Wilkinson. He wants to know, where do you draw Brendan. the line? This is but one specifically for JP, and I'm so glad he can answer this question. Uh, Brendan wants to know, how gay is too gay, JP? That's a stupid fucking question. Why not? Everybody knows the answer to this. What's mm -hmm. what? Lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a pussy, but you're still willing to go down there and stick your tongue into one, <laughs> that's too fucking gay for me. Uh, but, the, I mean, I think the question is, is like, and I know you fairly well, I know the answer to this question. But here's the thing, man. I don't. I don't like flamboyant. Yes, that's the question. I, I don't. I don't. I am specifically not attracted to that. Yeah. If I wanted something like that, I would go fuck a chick. Yeah. <laughs> but Corbin is very flamboyant. But that doesn't <laughs> very mean that. Flamboyant. But that doesn't mean it's too gay. I mean, it's too gay, gay for, for you. Me, yeah. But. I don't know that there is a thing is too gay. I guess Corbin's too gay. Yeah, I guess there's my is, answer. Is if you're so. wearing therapeutic shoes and <laughs> sparkly fucking jacket, then that's too gay. Like, uh, like my question would be is like have, have uh, because I again don't. And we can still be friends though. That's the thing. I don't. That's think the, that, yeah. That's it. There, yeah. I, I get you with there. But do you ever? Are you ever around somebody who's obviously gay that makes you uncomfortable? Oh, okay, here okay, here it is. Okay. The people that have to constantly fucking be gay to be anything. Does like that make Corbin, sense? Like Corbin. that's like oh, <laughs> Corbin. Sorry. Like that, but that makes sense, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Like that's their personality. That's, that's, yep. yeah. That is their whole that is entire their whole persona. Being yeah. is is I'm gay and I'm gonna fucking be as gay as possible mm -hmm. and try, and you they have try to, to weird jump you out. on board. Yeah. They try yeah. to weird yeah. you out. Yeah. yeah. I said that that's yeah, that's where I would draw the line. Mm -hmm. If that's your whole fucking you don't have anything of substance and you're just the gay guy yeah. with therapeutic shoes and sparkly jacket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's too gay. Mm -hmm. That's that's my favorite thing about uh, JP was that I had no idea he was gay until he started fucking with me at playing cards. 
about your uncle. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. there he goes. Yeah. I had no idea. And then he oh, God. freaked me out. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty was feeling bad for him. I was, for I was feeling minute. terrible for him for a little bit. <laughs> That's fucking uh, awesome. Uh, but anyways, uh, but yeah, thank you very much, uh, Brandon. Appreciate the question. I didn't get to answer. Oh, if you are going to answer, I uh, go ahead. Uh, how gay is too gay for me? I would say AIDS and monkeypox. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Well... <laughs> Yeah. No, I, I, Both well, the are reason, strictly a gay the disease, reason, by the way. The reason that I want to answer is because I'm wondering if Brendan is a therapist. Oh, maybe. Oh. The rapist? Yeah, I had one of those named Brendan. Uh, no. Maybe it is yeah. your therapist. So, <laughs> maybe uh, that is your so therapist. That's, yeah, I'm kind of wondering if that's him. He's trying to say uh, something. No, here. I, think, I think we have to revert to one of my favorite shows on planet Earth to get the answer to this, and it was uh, Family Guy. And there was an episode where Peter uh, like hit his head and became gay. Oh. And he was dating someone, and that person got him a gift for his birthday. And he goes, oh, my God, it's what I've always wanted, an 11 way. <laughs> and he's, he's having sex with all these dudes, and then he came out of it in the middle of that. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, <laughs> I think that's where we <laughs> that's have to draw, the, draw line. the line. Yeah, I think that's So it. you're saying 10's okay. Yeah, 10's, <laughs> 10's very good. Fine. 10 very is good. perfectly fine. I 11 see. is just out of control. Uh, yeah. All right. I I, I want to uh, be out of control so bad. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I It's too gay for me if I'm getting hit on and I don't I that makes me very very uncomfortable. So, really? Yeah. Eh, it really yeah, does. Whatever. It's it's very weird. Buy me a drink. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not completely stupid. I know that I I have tendencies that some people think that I am. Oh really? That well, it's you thought you're, I was. It's because you're I little. I still do. Okay, see. I'm still not. JP. Th- yeah. JP thought I was, but no, I understand that I do certain I think things it's that you people get pegged so often. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's not your it. your asshole is so loose. Yeah. I couldn't so, believe that you weren't gay. So I, <laughs> I, I, I went to go see Derek perform at a gay yeah, bar yeah, here yeah. in town uh-huh. just to see him do comedy right and some dude tried to buy me a drink and i was just like Take dude no drink my wife is Chicks over do there. It. no it's just it's just uncomfortable for me it just it never just wigs me out. take the drink man oh really or at least be wearing that nail polish where you <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. This is definitely gonna be some drugs i in. will drug you that is awesome <laughs> i love it i love it yeah see what i mean <laughs> All right. Thanks, Brennan. Uh, or Brendan. Next one. Where do you draw the line? Uh, this is uh, just one I found. When are you going to bed on New Year's Eve? I'm not. You're staying up the oh, whole it's night? it's going to be New Year's Day. Well into New Year's Day before I ever. Oh, I'm old as fuck. Yeah, I'll have to work. You go to bed before midnight? Oh, yeah. I have to work at the bar. So I I'll don't be care. Up, I'll be up until 4 o'clock in the morning. I, I was yeah. going to say 5 or 6, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do that shit no more, guys. And really? I'm younger than you. Yeah, I was up until 3 a.m. both Christmas Eve and Christmas banging my wife in a hot tub. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, and wow. shit face drunk, too. That's so, always good. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. It was fine. No, both my wife and I have a mutual understanding, and that is we are old souls, so we go to bed at like 10 o'clock whenever we can. Right after the news broadcast. <laughs> All right, I want to go back to Brendan's question. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Going no. to bed at 10 o'clock on New Year's. Yeah. We watch yep. two episodes of Cheers together and then go to bed. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I told you. My grandparents do that. I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so sad. But anyways, uh, next. We watch some Leave It to Beaver and <laughs> yeah. just fall asleep. Perry Mason's it. on tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Sometime I'll turn Did on some. Did you see that murder she Did you see I didn't think it? they were going to solve it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll turn on reruns of Johnny Carson, and mm-hmm. that's some good shit. Uh, yeah, it is good. I like that. Oh, okay, you're going to let me slide with that one? All right, yeah. it is cool. Okay, because that's uh, yeah, a real that's story. Fine. I do do that sometimes. I'm sure you do. Uh, next one. This comes in from uh, another serial killer. This is Jacob Paul Hazen. Uh, he, <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know... He wants to know, how long after Christmas do you leave your lights up? Until next Christmas. Are you fucking serious? Nah. I rent, so... Well, like, like, I mean, I, I, I gotta be honest. It depends on how Christmassy I'm feeling. Okay. Like sometimes I'll take them down the next day. Uh, Literally. I've been known to do I'm not that. big into Christmas, so I don't decorate well, like, at all. You've driven down my fucking uh, street and seen people. Oh, they're with, still, they're still up. Of course. For but ever. I think they'll be up for the next three months. I would say the first two weeks of January. Within, uh, that, within, that's good. Within the first two weeks of January. I there's think something that says you're not supposed to. There's some <clears throat> bad luck if you take them down before the 6th of January. 
Really? I don't know what the I don't know what the significance is. I'll have to look it up and let you know. Huh. But that's interesting. I've heard huh. that you're supposed to leave them up till the sixth of January. I, I just figured. I oh, fig- it's when the insurrection happens. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> yeah. I think that's actually a biblical history thing um, yeah. because I th- I think there's. Was it because there's? I think that was maybe I think you're the thinking day Hanukkah. That, no. Eight crazy uh, nights? No. no I know that was definitely the, the day that Jesus was truly born, they think, or hmm. possibly September 11th. Dude, he was born was in the what summer. I was told. Yeah, I've, I've been told she was born. He was born uh, in the summer. I, I listened to this deal the other day. It was really interesting. I'm kind of a history person. Like, I really enjoy history. Yeah. Um, and, it, uh, and it was extremely interesting to, to listen to how... Like they got to those dates and stuff like that with astrology and yeah, winter the solstice, dude, and stuff like that. Like, uh, like they said, the the misconception that Jesus was born in a barn is because most of the houses where he was at were two story built into a cave, and downstairs would be where all the animals were kept. Yeah, manger. And yeah, and then upstairs would be like lots of fucking people in yeah. a one room house, and so. The theory is they were like, hey, you're going to have a baby. You'd probably be more comfortable in privacy in the, down there. Yeah, yeah. So basically it was a garage, you know? I mean, that's pretty kinda, much. Yeah. That's yeah. What it is. So um, and then they talk about the dates and stuff like that. It was really interesting. Yeah. It was very, very I, interesting. I like that shit How too. much the Greeks and all that stuff were. Yeah, it was neat. Me was and you like that shit, but I don't know if our listeners do. But anyways. Oh, uh, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who fucking I, needs them? I, I think we're all going to agree. Uh, I would say uh, in January, if you take them down like yeah. in the middle of January, that's fine. Now, yeah. if you go into like fucking April, when it starts getting warm outside, I think that's that's. It. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, pretty you, bad. You got you to gotta take them down way before yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, uh, next one. This is from Peter Haverkamp. Uh, Haver, it's Haverkamp. Haverkamp. I apologize. That's uh, weird. I wonder if I know this guy. Okay, maybe. That's a that's a definite. I'm related to a bunch of Haverkamp. Oh, okay. Well, there you know. Uh, where do you draw the and line? I love Peter. But you don't know Peter. I said I love Peter. Oh, Peter. <laughs> so, I, yeah. you, do I mean, love Peter. <laughs> you love Peter. You love plural. Yep. Um, where he, he wants to know where do you draw the line? What is the longest you will go without showering? It just kind of depends on where I'm at. If I'm in Iraq and I don't have any choice, a no, couple weeks. <laughs> like, this is a good fucking question. Yeah. This is a very oh, like a good, normal yeah, deal. Like a normal deal. I'm not saying you're in a situation, I'm sorry, of like wartime and you have to fucking. Eh, a couple days. Dude. Yeah. Dude. I, we have a person that is on this show on a regular basis. And I can tell when he has not showered for at least two days. Oh, Dude, my. Here's the thing. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one. Not you. I know it's not me, but I don't want to. If he, if he just happens to catch this episode, <laughs> I want to make sure he knows I was not a part of this. Okay. I have to see him every week. I know. Okay. I don't even know who it is, and now yeah, I don't want to know. Yeah, but, you do. Well, I do not want to know. We've had this conversation before, and every once this in a while. This microphone smells funny, by the way. <laughs> But no, still don't know. Uh, it's he, fun. He, it's we, Derek. We've, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's Derek. He doesn't do it often, but he has done it before, and mm-hmm. it's. But like, it's weird. He because he, he doesn't like deodorant. He, he you can smell his musk. You can smell <laughs> his musk, but he can't. Like uh, but yeah, so I is that dude, what they call that when you that sweat between your ass? They call that musk. <laughs> no, I think so. Okay, I think so. No, they just call that butthole smell. Uh, yeah. Uh, but no, I, I think if I have to shower at least once a day, sometimes I want to shower before I go to bed so I can go to bed easier. Yeah, so I usually I shower to, every night before I, I go to bed. I yeah. go, I have to shower in the morning because I have to wake myself up. Yeah, that's that's what yeah, I that use that sense. for. Yeah. So I shower. At, I cannot go more than a day. More <coughs> more than a day. There have been, mm-hmm. dude. There have been days on like the weekend where I don't have to do anything and I forgot to shower. I've done that. And I yeah. jump in yep. the shower. Yep. I got I've done it. that. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. I agree. Your butt starts stinking. Exactly. Yeah. It does. It does. Not mine. Mine always smells like petunias. You're right. I'm sure <laughs> you and you and Taylor Swift both. Yep. Um. And last one. Where do you draw the line? How crispy do you prefer your bacon? This is going to be crazy because I'm going to lose a lot of fans here, but I don't like bacon. What are you, Muslim? <laughs> See? Uh, I just don't like bacon. Really? I'm a sausage guy. <laughs> we all well, knew yeah, that. We all knew that. But I really don't like bacon. Like, I, I will leave bacon. If there's bacon on something, I, I won't. Really? I, just, I don't really? like take bacon. take it off? I'll eat it. Oh, man. I don't like it. Wow. Yeah, that's I like weird. it crispy. 
I like it very crispy, but if I eat it, I think the worst bacon in the entire country you can find at homegrown. Oh, it's really? Like thick, tried to be. Cri- I don't, dude. It is disgusting. Like I, I, I don't even think it's edible. I think it's gross. You should see the bacon at Denny's. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> they, you can see through it. They actually you got can it. See they, through it. No, they bro. made it out of a dog behind yeah. the fucking Denny's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's great. No, I, I, I'm very, very weird. Like when somebody says I like my base bacon extra crispy, mm-hmm. I want it crispier than that. If if you really, can't, yeah, if you can't take your bacon and just snap it off like that, I don't, I don't want it. Yeah, I think what I'm you're looking for is that. jerky. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> and I don't. that's and that's what the homegrown bacon reminds me of. It's yeah. like bacon jerky. It's I don't kind of chewy I and don't weird. Don't like jerky. I don't want chewy. I want I don't like crispy jerky as fuck. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I don't very need weird. any kind of jerky. Anyways. Yep. Thank you to all you guys for that. For that's where I draw the line. Now, now we get to move we, on to. Uh, um, I think it's becoming a very uh, my favorite part. But yeah. I don't know. We've got some bonus questions in here for you this week. But uh, we're going to kick this thing off. This one comes in from way down under. This is from Daniel Delaney in Australia. Mm-hmm. He wants to know what are some unusual places to find a uh, a mall Santa setup. So unusual places to find a mall Santa setup. Jiffy Just like. Lube. Yeah, just Jiffy like, Lube? It, like Jiffy Lube. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, not in the mall, just anywhere. Right. I, oh, I, yeah. I don't know why. Immediately, prison. Oh yeah, come <laughs> sit on my lap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, oh, you know what present they're all asking <laughs> yeah. for, right? Right. Uh, no, there was a uh, that, juvenile the, hall. So <laughs> yeah. the swingers club that I did the comedy at, yeah. uh, they had a Santa <laughs> there. I was like. Feel like you got all the presents you want, right? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. The swingers, yeah, there's yeah. swingers. Yeah, they yeah. came in to eat a couple, like maybe a month ago. Yeah, and it was one of their birthdays, and they were trying to get me to come out to the club. Dude, it's actually kind of a cool spot. Okay. It's not bad. It, okay. It's actually a pretty cool spot. It's more of a, I don't know. It's small, uh, but it's I don't. It's all right. You know, okay. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the show. It was fun. Man. It was a, it was a great crowd. Great. Like, it was a really great crowd. That I would I be a fucking weird. Something. That would be a weird. It, it was like, different. I my I think my opening joke was that this is the first time in history that a white guy with a tiny dick has been the main event at a swingers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, uh, but is, it was fun. Is yeah. it, is corn in the name of what? the place? Corn. Yeah, corn is it the name? Okay, no. I was just trying to guess where it was. Uh, all right. Oh, it's on like South broadway oh yeah. okay yeah, 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 okay yeah, yeah. no i was yeah. just curious uh corn, what, what does that even fuck? mean i was trying to say is a barley corns god damn it no oh, would it be barley oh, no. you think barley corns is a swingers bar maybe no, no. okay i don't know uh. i i go to bed at 10 and watch cheers dickhead. yeah no shit. that is true, See? That's true. yeah Good he's point. probably not getting out to many swingers <laughs> right. clubs. i don't know where they are uh. anyways uh next one comes in from craig remington he wants to know Slogans for divorce lawyers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Don't want to be hitched? I'll kill that bitch. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, that's the ultimate divorce right <laughs> yeah. there. That's awesome. I, mean, I like that a lot. Okay. That's, uh, oh, man, I don't know. You got tired of being hitched? Let's kill that bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you get screwed by her, we'll stop you from getting screwed by, or we'll, we'll stop you from getting screwed again. If you get mm-hmm. screwed by her, we'll stop you from getting screwed again. I like that. Yeah, it's a it little seems like wordy. Would like it's pretty wordy. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, wordy. A little wordy. I think uh, <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> law offices. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, I like that. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, yeah, I like Save that. Your That's, money. Uh, yep, yep. Baby mama, no mo. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, uh yeah. I don't know. That's it's your what, money. Use yeah. it when you need it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call J G Wentworth eight seven seven cash now. <laughs> I love that. Uh, that would too. be the best divorce attorney on planet Earth. <laughs> yep, that's right. He was an accident attorney, too. If I, I have right. a dumb bitch wife and I need, <laughs> need cash now. Oh, this Everybody is-, is fucking singing that stupid <laughs> ass song right now. Oh, that's the other thing I did all weekend to fuck with my wife because uh, we have like like stereo surround sound all throughout like every room in our house so uh-huh. i would just fucking turn up taste the biscuit <laughs> taste the honey sauce on the biscuit and she was so fucking pissed <laughs> it was great that's good shit yep all right uh next one instead of boards and bricks what should people in karate competitions break boners yikes, yikes. Oh. that would be Ow. a little rough bro i mean hey 
No, I say go for big air. Let's break some plate glass windows. <laughs> okay. See a little bit of fucking blood in this thing. That's true. It would be a lot more entertaining. Uh, I want more ridiculous bubble wrap. I want mm. stacks of bubble wrap. And so every single this time. This is why he goes to bed at 10 p.m. Yeah. What? If you guys want to stop great. watching for the rest of the episode, I don't oh, think dude. Scotty's yeah. going to get oh, any better. come on. How about maybe tune in next week and see it? <laughs> dude, I thought for sure. Dude, bubble wrap would be fucking hilarious. Can you yeah. imagine somebody screaming as loud answer. as they can? It's a great answer. I hope that your draft <laughs> is as good as the rest of your oh, answers. <laughs> we won't have to worry about losing. <laughs> I think it'd be entertaining as hell. Oh, but would. That's just me. I like it. I think yeah. that'd be good. Right. Um, yeah, or maybe old TVs, the ones with like the tube Damn. behind them. Yes. That would be. Yeah. Be- you have to have five people drag the fucking <laughs> thing in. <laughs> that'd be awesome. It's like the '90s, whenever the substitute yep. teacher would roll that bitch yep. in. Yep. Exactly that thing. That'd be great. Okay, uh, next one. This comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know rejected death penalty methods. A good old fashioned bear fight. Uh, that would be fucking cool. Oh, yes, it would. Yeah, because if you win, you just get to be back in society. Oh, man. <laughs> I like the old drawn and quartered. Drawn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah, I uh, you want to talk about something crazy to watch. Yeah. Um, uh, you never have watched that. But uh, <laughs> I like the, uh, what, you know, Levi's jeans when they rip apart like with two horses. Just a that's, oh. that's what I want. It was, oh. yeah. there was one limb tied to four horses. Each horse had a limb and they fucking smack them on the ass at the same time and literally just pulled this dude apart. That's insane. Where did this occur faces in the Middle of East? Death. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't <laughs> know where shit. it was, but that's it was on fan, one of the faces of death videos. My goodness, yeah. that is uh, crazy. That. that is messy. That, yeah, it was. That's crazy. Interesting. I, hmm. You know why they stop? Wow. You know why they stopped doing the uh, um, the firing squad? Because the people shooting them got all fucked up, over it, right? <laughs> is that no? I don't, know. I don't really know, but can you imagine if like one of the guys just didn't pull the trigger at the right exact time, and he was the one who shot the guy? Like, Holy like, fuck. like, ready, three, two, and he fires, and the yeah. guys like screaming, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> we know who fucking shot him. Yep. But yeah, no. Anyways, uh, next question. This comes in from Brandon Bullens. Uh, he wants to know rejected names for fake boobs. Chest rocks. <laughs> <laughs> dude when those chicks go from an a cup to a d it's harder than this fucking helmet right here for like three years <laughs> yeah oh shit i just i always remember calling them being uh bolt-ons yeah bolt-ons for uh-huh. sure. yeah uh yeah. let's see uh, i don't think that's a rejected name though i think that's a pretty good one yeah oh no i think it's a good one um fun bags yeah mm-hmm. I, uh, uh-uh. phony fun bags phony there you fun go bags. Mm-hmm. there you go uh, let's see, sweater stretchers, but my favorite out of all of them, counter tits. Oh, come on. Nothing? I don't know what that means. Counterfeit? Counter tits? You know, I come almost, on. I, 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 oh, okay. I almost Jeez. left earlier, okay? God I get it. damn it. No, I regret not. That's I get it. terrible. <clears throat> I get it. Any others? Sorry, Brandon. Jesus. <laughs> Try again. Try again next week. God damn it. Oh, right. Peter Haverkamp again. Yeah, Peter Haverkamp had a couple good He's ones this week. He's killing it. He wants to know things you can say on Christmas and during sex. Ho, ho, ho. Well, <laughs> luckily, I just had experience with this yesterday. So <laughs> one of them that you can say is, hang on, I'll wipe that cum off your back. <laughs> <laughs> That's a- that was the most Christmas thing I had said all weekend. So wow, uh, and then you got some in your hair. So that's and, it, and then yeah, it she did. So that's just what happened. That's uh, that's how you know we're broke. We're conditioning our hair with semen. That's awesome. Great, great shit. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, that's right. your fucking. I just <laughs> I just said I put your present in the back. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, that's awesome. There you go. Uh, there you go. I'll, I'll give myself that. There you go. All right, thanks. J- well, JP signaled, so I yep. gave it to him. Good job. All Good right. Job. Uh, next one. This one comes in from the serial killer himself again, Jacob Paul Hazen. He wants to know regret. Or sorry, rejected Christmas mascots. Sniffy the cocaine elf. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's awesome. I uh, love Sniffy. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude. He came that's, over last that's Christmas, awesome. and it was cool. Dude, can you imagine if the Easter Bunny was Santa Claus? 
Oh, Those no. things are creepy as shit. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yes, they are. I don't know. That's a uh, man rejected christmas mascots if you're a true uh, gritty gritty from the philadelphia flyers <laughs> <Gritty>. <laughs> fucking psycho gritty. yeah and then and then the supercar guys tried to like adopt their own gritty uh-huh yeah that it's, weird. Go it's like gritty's well. fucking cousin oh, and God. it turns out he was fucking sniffy the cocaine hell exactly a hundred percent got videoed at a party yep. <laughs> he was having a good time uh, it was a christmas party crazy <laughs> enough <Yeah. laughs> sniffy was there if you are uh, if you're a big fan of this show you'll know this one a drunk pack of cigarettes yeah, is my there one. you go nice good there callback go. from jeremy joseph but what what kind of cigarettes would they be marble reds no Camel crushes. Camel crushes. Oh, yeah. That's true. that's it. And the very last pick for this week comes in from Ian Smoke PW. He wants to know what is going to be 2024's new slogan. Please stop. I've had enough. (laughs) 2024. Is this the year I die of a heart attack? Uh, Yeah. That's true. Yeah. (laughs) Have you had the shot? Yeah. Ah. Uh, So you'll be fine. There's no blood clots. It's fine. No, you're fine. I did have the first one. (laughs) Uh-huh. I had uh, one. You're fucked. Yep. Because I was going to Denver and I was wanted to go like to the zoo and to concerts and shit like that, but you had to be vaxxed. Yeah. And so I got the first one just so I could get the card and then I just filled the rest of it out all the Oh yeah. Yeah, I've, this is where I paid two hundred and fifty dollars and uh a nurse, a nurse just handed me four of yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be and it yeah. worked perfectly. It sure it did. Yep. Uh Let's see, 2024. Um, God, 2024. It. Grab her by the pussy. <laughs> yes, that is a great slogan. Uh, no, I, actually, I tell you what, it's an election year, 2024. Wake me up when November ends. Yeah, ah, no shit. That's, that's actually a, a pretty decent too. one. Yeah. Yep. Anyways, all right, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Uh, again, check out Monday Funday next week. Send in your <laughs> suggestions, uh, and then I, if we like it, we'll give you a shout out. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Hell yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. And uh, I uh, did not win. I did not win at all. But Steve won for the very Yay! first time. Atta, baby. I don't even know what the draft was. It was weird things to ask Santa for Christmas, and I think you won with a 1970s woman's bush. Yep, that did it. Uh, that would be it. very uh, flavorful. Yep, uh, so I think, uh, Steve, you actually get the championship picks this week, so that nice. means you pick last. Oh. Uh, I get the uh, sandwich picks because I was kind of here for last week's draft. Uh, I came in dead last. I think the likes beat me, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, wow. Uh, JP wasn't <laughs> here, so he uh, gets defaulted to the first pick for this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so this week's draft is going to be um, New Year's resolutions that we wouldn't be able to follow through with. So mm-hmm. the worst mm-hmm. New Year's resolutions draft. Mm-hmm. JP, you get to kick it off, dude. Uh, let's go with get a better job. Get a better job. I would love to say that I was going to do that, but I'm fucking way too lazy to do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's got all these skills and talents and everything. I do. And, and uh, he just, just doesn't, not using any just of them. Just doesn't want to do it. Um, I, I think I'm going to do one. Uh, I'm going to really try to do this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to follow through. But, but how many people get gym memberships? Uh, every no. single year. Oh, yeah. And Morons. then flood the fucking YMCA yep. for like a month, and yep. then they're gone. So yep. I'm going to go with uh, work out. Okay. I have you a know? gym membership because it's a nice place to go take a shit if there's <laughs> no <laughs> gas <laughs> stations around. Yeah. Uh, okay. But during the month of January, it's <laughs> still too crowded. Yeah, me. that's right. All right, Steve, you get two in a row. Two in a row? Yeah. Oh, no. And these are things that you're not, that you just wouldn't. I, I just think they're the worst ones. The, okay. the ones make you roll your eyes. Uh, to complete no nut 
2024. <laughs> no, not 2024. That is not going to happen. There is no <laughs> fucking way that that is going to happen. Okay. Uh, and then my second one would be to not drink anything. Damn it. In 2024. That's, uh, yeah. That is not going to happen for me. It could happen for other people, or you could be fucking cool and fall off the wagon and go back to your old ways. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with fucking crazy diet. Mm -hmm. I'll do a crazy diet because that's everybody tries. I'm going to try to do it, and I'm not going to follow through. I'm doing it for one month. I'm doing carnivore in January. I know. I'm going to I'm going to do the fasting for as long as I can. I think they only tell you to do it for three days, but <laughs> it's going to end up dying. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> My fucking suit story was enough to push me over the fucking edge. So I like it. I like that was it. it. Uh, JP, you get two in a row, man. Start saving money. Okay. You got to have money to save first. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's where that better job comes in. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to read a book. <laughs> read a book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> Everybody knows I can't no, read. That's not happening. I don't know, dude. I got a really good one that I think you'll get lost in, and you'll really enjoy it. It's called The Holy Bibli. <clears throat> yeah. should, it's called The Holy Bibli. <laughs> you should and give it a shot. You should, you should probably you know, just flip through there. See if there's something you can find that'll make you change your ways. <laughs> that's a that's a like a that's just a couple hour read. Yeah. I think it's pretty yeah. pretty small book. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Surely I could get through that one. Um. All right. I am going to. Uh, I, I I found this one and it just made it an idea, and I really really liked it. It's strengthen personal relationships with your friends. That's you should do that, man. Because so, if we go back to Brendan's question, <laughs> <laughs> how gay is too, too gay? gay. Uh, I think the answer is just Scotty. Hey, wait a minute. I think that's it. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Steve, you get two in a row. Two in a row. <sighs> These are two in a row, Steve. Two in a row, Steve. Hey, Steve. Uh, two in a row. Two in a row. Steve. <laughs> the New Year's resolution that I know I will not complete is if I told everyone I was not going to argue with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> damn it all right as a matter of fact at 1201 yeah i'm gonna no, fucking argue yeah, with her 110 percent yeah for sure at uh, the bar yeah well, yeah sure. exactly and then uh the other one would be to say i would not yell at my kids <laughs> okay uh steve understood the assignment i think mm -hmm. um all right i am going to let's see I am. I, I got to think of one for my wife that I don't think that I could follow through with. Oh no, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna go with. Stop come, sucking in bed. Shut up. No, that's <laughs> that's the only reason why she's with me, JP. <laughs> that, that's why it makes sense. No, I'm going to complete complete a household project. There you go. Okay. Nice. Uh, is that is that what they're called or a home project? Yeah. What do you call those? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. That's I think, it, but it's actually cost for you. I think they're called. My wife will do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'll yeah. pay somebody to come or over yeah, and do it. There you go, Steve. You want to fix my bathroom? Yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. So I'm going to start volunteering. Ah, oh, fuck. That's a good one. <laughs> 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 volunteering your time. Yeah. And stop smoking weed. Ah, oh, damn mm -hmm. it. I don't see that happening. It's not going to happen. Dude. No, I don't think not it is going to happen at all. No. Yeah. Son of a bitch. You don't even okay. know my mom. Yeah, I know. I, um, fuck. I, I really want to follow through with the ones for my wife, so I don't want to use those. Okay, well, yeah. fucking pick something else, man. I'm trying. Well, that's sad. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with learning to do a new skill, useful skill. So if we go back to Brendan's question, <laughs> <laughs> apparently that new skill is sucking dick. Yep, no, that's no. True. I could. No, teach you know you. what I mean. Like learn like like blacksmithing or something like that. Right. Like go go and do something that you don't right. know how to do. Learn, that's learn, a, yeah. learn a new skill. Okay, specific. fine. Reading a book over here, Mister Fuckhead. I'm just saying I won't do it. <laughs> and I know you won't. I'm not going to do this either. Okay, right, right. And uh, Steve, this is your final pick. Uh. The something that I would not actually end up doing 
is I would say that I'm going to give up all Mexican food for 2024. <laughs> oh, You're out of your fucking mind. That That's is, my favorite. Uh, yeah, Mexican food is the best. <laughs> 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 Did I catch you off guard? You're good. All right. All right. Did I get you with my voice? A little bit. A little bit. <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Man, that's the first time I've actually choked on anything in a long time. <laughs> that's the first time I've actually made you laugh. And I didn't think Scotty would be the one to do no. it. Yeah, yeah. But that's, uh, that's, that's pretty good. A, that's the first time I've actually made you laugh. Yeah, that was that's good. Did not expect that. Super. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go to Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or Twitter, which is L O T sidelines, and vote for your favorite list of uh, absolutely worthless uh, New Year's resolutions that we're not going to follow through with. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Vorshay's Lounge here in Wichita, Kansas. Go and see Steve Yay. and his wife. Um, Shitloads of comedy coming up every single weekend in January, February, and March. I was so going to say, do you know, it just sum off the top of your head. Yeah, obviously. Ben Jones, got Tom Takar, got Gareth Reynolds, got uh, Barry Laminick, got Dan Green and Chris Kidder from the uh, uh, Los Angeles uh, Improv. He works at the Improv. He's a nice. comic. He's fucking hilarious. He's the next one coming up. Um, yeah, it's, so, it's yeah. cool. And then in April, we've got... Uh, <laughs> We've got Chris Porter coming back with his uh, little, it's like comedy and music. Yeah. Uh, the guitarist from Shinedown, they are the Campfire Astronauts. I that's think that's awesome. April 18th. So. Yeah, but if you've never been to uh, Vorshay's Cocktail Lounge here in Wichita, it is also the Cougar Den. Uh, yes, it that, is. That yes. is where they all go and hang out. It yes. is not quite the Swingers Lounge, but it's uh, it's definitely full of cougars. It is. So yep. uh, go yep. and have fun there at Vorshay's Lounge here downtown in Wichita, Kansas. Or if you're from California, the Mountain Lion Den. Oh, the Mountain Lion. Yeah, they, okay. when I was out there, they called them Mountain Lions. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I mean, at least on the news. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> what, okay. So they just kept warning me about Mountain Lion oh. sightings. So oh, I'll be darned. I knew what they meant. Anyways, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is... Is would you rather mm -hmm. um, be the Santa Claus at the Swingers Club or <laughs> hang out with Corbin every holiday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know what Steve's going to say. You're going to get yeah. some jizz in your beard. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, yeah, dude, I'm uh, I'm good old I'm ho 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 in it. I'm, oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, I I don't like people like that that make everything about themselves, and and that just kind of sounds like what this guy does. Yeah, so he's a dick. I, I'm just <laughs> so I'm just not gonna do that. Yeah, and and if you do it at the holidays where you are an embarrassment to like your entire family and don't give a shit, that's, of course that the bigger the audience, the better. Oh yeah. god, yep. yeah, and I'm, that's yeah, yeah. that's I'm, what it is. I'm big time yeah. out on that one. I am uh, I. I guess I'm uh, Santa Claus. Uh, how about you guys? Oh, Santa Claus all day. All we day knew long? Steve For wasn't sure. Yeah. Here's what's weird is I dress up as Santa Claus and go down there in July. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, it's oh. very strange. Okay, all right, fair enough. JP? Uh, I'm hanging out with Corbin. Are you? Yeah, he is. At least I might get my dick sucked. got a better <laughs> chance. <laughs> I got a better chance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Worst part is, is duct tape. Right. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, that makes you. sense. Yep. Yep. But buddy, that man, maybe he just talks. I think uh -huh. it, I think it'll ruin it for you. I really uh -huh. do. Uh-huh. So uh oh well. He's very flamboyant. <laughs> I I painted the picture for you, JP. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. You're no fun. Flamboyant. <laughs> so you go back to Brendan's question. If you yeah. go back to Brendan's question. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, you guys are great. Yeah. Uh, but thank you very much, Steve Peters. I sincerely do appreciate it whenever you come on the show. You're Hell always yeah, I a love it. buttload of fun. And uh, obviously, JP, whenever. You I'm know. also a buttload of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. shit. But no, uh, you guys have been a, an excellent part of the crew. Thank you guys mm -hmm. very, very much for another excellent year for laughing on the sidelines. It's, it's always fun. Blast. It's always Love fun. Love being here, man. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, 
very very much uh steve go see go see steve at vorshay's cocktail lounge yep. uh especially you look at uh, what's the website to go and look up uh for the shows that are coming vorshay's out? comedy.com there you go there you go uh but thank you guys so very much it's been an excellent year 2023 2023 2023 yeah. 2023 uh 2023 was great uh we had I can't a, wait for 2024 2024 mm-hmm. is gonna be a little bit more fun uh keep your ears to the ground we we know we're kind of talking about a little bit of a live show it's uh it's probably going to happen we just don't know when it's going to be uh now that there are six and kind of seven members of the laughing on the sidelines guys that means that there are also six to maybe seven schedules that have to line up and uh, that makes it a little bit difficult so uh, whenever we have more on that, we will definitely let you know. But thank you so very much for continuing what you guys are doing, sharing our content. Uh, that um, helps us out a lot. Uh, and, yeah, keep doing that. So as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us. We hope you wake up gay tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. KFC. Finger looking good. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We'll see you later. Have a happy new year. Bye.